Greetings from the future again. I'm reporting from a mysterious location, airport, someplace within the United States. You'll probably figure it out if you look at the signs in the background. It's not that mysterious. But anyway, I want to pop in here for just a minute and tell you guys that we have a major volunteering or donation or and or or both going on right now that we just launched launched yesterday to Cambodia. Um, in 2023, we spent some time um, volunteering at a school in Cambodia where they teach the local children English. We fell in love with them. We saw a need that their library was in shambles and Captain decided to take it upon himself to make this something he wanted to undertake and refurbish their library and then fill it with books. So we have launched our first ever World Towning volunteer event. Um, all the details are down in the description. We would love to have you join us and volunteer if you can't volunteer with us in Cambodia in 2025, then if you want to make a donation or you want to share our information with people you think might be interested, we would be grateful. This whole um, initiative is spearheaded by Captain, um, also known as Largo, or Largo also known as Captain. Uh, will and I will be helping out and then we'll be partnering with our friends at Luana Foundation uh, because they have a lot of experience in doing big events like this. So we welcome you to join us. Oh, here they come on the loudspeaker. I gotta let you go. Bye. 4 a.m. wake up call today, guys. We're trying to hit 22 miles. Been a long time since we've done that. Welcome to day 172. We are the ominous lights. <laughs> I am Sunshine. And I'm Captain. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. It is a 5 a.m. launch. We're trying to hit 22 miles. We haven't done that in... Oh, Captain's going to hold it because I'm not so good at that. Watch your bumpies. Um, we haven't done it in a while. We have one up in the beginning, a baby up at the end, and we want to get at Shaw's Hostel tonight. So we're hitting it. It's not that cold this morning. We're going from Bald Mountain Brook <laughs> Shelter to hopefully Route 15, I think it is, where Shaw's will pick us up. Let's do this. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. This is like a rock roof. So wild. <laughs> this rock is holding up the other rock. Wild. All right. 62 degrees at six in the morning, guys. Couldn't ask for any better weather. Necessity affected me still Living out some dream of never standing still The poison pill I ran from always seemed to be Bigger than the destination The months have blurred and faded Relegated vast majority of all the games we played, a wild maze of flashing memories. I'd live it all again just to pretend that one of us might see a way, they say. Nothing gold can stay. We'll be old someday and waste our lives away. Waiting, waiting for life to get better. So you guys remember yesterday when I said, anyone who has this on the trail has done this, but we have it and I haven't done it. <laughs> How many of you guests pitched the tent? I have not pitched our tent. We have a tent. Anyone else on this trail who has a tent has most likely pitched it, except me. Um, interesting, right? It just, 
It's not that I'm against it. It's just that we have our jobs that we do and Captain likes doing the tent and I do the food and the trash and the bear cans and um, all that other stuff and it just works out for us. Funny. So guys, we have barely filmed anything this morning because we're trying to make the 22 miles and we're really cutting it close. We're at nine and a half miles with not a lot of flexibility and then we get to this beast. It's not really a beast, but we gotta, we gotta take our socks and shoes off and cross, which takes at least, I'd say at least a half an hour for us to get ourselves organized. I'm not sure how we're gonna get over there. Maybe there's a better way to go, Captain. Are you gonna go right across here? Probably. Oh boy, okay, all right. I mean, I'm sure you can go straight over, put your shoes on and hike over there over there. That I looks a little complicated. All right, you ready? Yep. It's waist deep. <laughs> Who'd wanna be in an airplane right now? Who? Not us. Not in a nice, clean, sushi. warm. I've made it across, guys, but I'm standing over here, which is probably snake zone, and I'm barefoot. A nice airplane where they give you peanuts. I wouldn't go that way. I think it's deep. Well, is Which that the way, way I did came? you go? Okay, I guess I came that way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, know I mean, it's, you know, it's peanuts. not that bad. Once your feet go numb. <laughs> it's only going to get colder too. Watch. Oh, look, there's a bridge over here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go assess the situation further on. All right. This is, this is so fun. Right, we're gonna miss sleeping in a bed tonight just because of this joyous moment. <laughs> oh, this is way steep over here. How oh, great. No, it's not. Oh boy, but this one's moving a little bit faster. All right, this current's moving faster, honey. Okay, not too bad. I actually don't mind them because they make my feet feel so much better. Cold plunge in my feet there, but. We're on this time crunch and their last pickup is at six. Shaw's last pickup at six. I don't know if they'll do an additional pickup or not. Oh, cobweb. Um, but we really want to get in there. So <sighs> hopefully that didn't cut into our time too much. You guys, this morning when I said it was 62 degrees, I was wrong, it was 52. Oops. Let's see if we can get him. We've wanted to get a squirrel, but those buggers are hard to get on film. Hi, buddy. Hi. Today, we're spending a lot of time walking along the water and the leaves are in full bloom. They're dropping. I keep saying it's raining leaves. Like it's just magical, magical, magical out here. And yet, although we're hitting it hard trying to hit 22 miles, <laughs> we're still trying to be present and enjoy all the beauty because it is spectacular. If you're going to do this hike, make sure. I know it's not ideal to finish the end of September, mid to end of September, beginning of October. But what you get in return is all of this, which is so worth it. Plus apple pie. Guess what, guys? Ugh, we get to do this again. <gasps> oh, my, oh my God, it's so cold. That's going to be me in about, in oh about two minutes. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. <laughs> I want my mom. <laughs> I can't wait. And I feel like there's something over there splashing in the water. It's an anaconda. All right, honey, let's go. Come on, join yep. me for the party. This is one of those times I am desperate for Wi-Fi because dad has to see this live. I'd be streaming it live on YouTube and Instagram right now. Oh, I bet. <laughs> it's gonna get deeper. Watch out for that water snake too. Ah! <laughs> Living the dream, baby! So we are really trying to make it 22 miles to the pickup spot at 6 p.m. And to sleep in the bed tonight before we start the wilderness tomorrow. Ooh. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
<gasps> All right, so I'm gonna sit here for a minute. If we have any more of these damn water crossings, we're not gonna make it. We're down to the wire right now, so let's wheel those water crossings away, at least till tomorrow. I'm okay. So cute. That's me when I'm eating. Oh, hi. Zarkos. <gasps> by the way, guys, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it the 22 miles by six. We haven't filmed too much because the battery's low and Captain's not feeling great, so I don't want to bug him to charge it, but. In Maine, no less. 22 miles in Maine. Bam, we're badass hikers. Welcome to the end of day 140. No, 172. 172. <laughs> okay, hold the microphone for a second. I just want you to know that my trail alone or clothes today is talking about the time I was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really in prison. Um, we went from Bald Mountain Brook Lean to to Monsoon and we went 22 miles in 12 hours. We were hauling ass. <laughs> we were kicking butt. We were actually doing like half hour miles for a consistent amount of time yeah which i know doesn't seem like a lot but We've for the done past that. month we have not been doing that and it's quite an accomplishment i would say because 22 <sighs> miles is no joke here in Maine, for sure I mean, it was part of the easier main territory but still it was definitely probably the hardest um 22 miles i've done in a while oh god me too me too um we are all snuggled in to Shaw's Halston now. Great place. A great place. You guys, I don't know if I'll be able to show you any footage because we came in late. Not late, but like right at six. I don't know. By the time we got here, it was like six. And we had to get food and shower and laundry. And so I didn't take any footage. I'll try and take a little bit. Oh. So we are now filming this from the camera plugged in because <gasps> unfortunately it did die. <laughs> but we had a great time at Shaw's. And also... Wait, oh. To continue the outro, the camera has now died again. Um, <laughs> we did okay. not get much of a chance to actually explore the entire bit of Shaw's because we have been seeing quite a lot of people that we met along the way, which right. is very surprising. It is. It's like a it's like a trail reunion, guys. I think we know almost everyone who's here, and some people we haven't seen since, since Uncle Johnny's. Yeah, since Uncle Johnny's. It's like, crazy. And Uncle Johnny's is in Tennessee. So crazy. Like you just all of a sudden see people again. It's really, really, really fun. Because this is our last hostel stay. So um, this is kind of like the end of it, That's right? It, yeah. This is I the mean, la we do have to go make up 60 miles with a special person that we all know is very soon. But for actual like hostel stays with AT through hikers, I know, it's going to be. Our hair is all over the place, isn't no it? Kidding. Yeah, we won't. That person will be sleeping outside, but we won't be in any hostels. Kind of sad. Well, I know, right? This is our last hostel. It is crazy. With so, that, we wait, have wait, wait, packed wait. up all the food as well for our uh, bit of miles. halfway um, drop off that you do with the 100 mile wilderness. Oh, yeah, and we didn't tell them about that. Yes. So you can do that. They'll do a food drop. I think it's $50. Um, and they'll drop your food at day four into the 100-mile wilderness, which we are going <gasps> to take advantage of. Oh, excuse me. Because um, it's really hard to pack out seven days' worth of food. Um, so Shaw's has resupply, a really great gear shop, all kinds of different accommodations, bunkhouse. You can sleep in your tent. You can sleep in a yurt. You can come in and just have a shower if you want. You have to pay for the stuff, of course amazing breakfast that we're going to have tomorrow morning i don't know if we'll get to show you guys footage of everything because we kind of came in late leaving early ish but you'll get an idea what it's like it, it definitely lives up to its reputation of being a really cool place and i wish we could zero here but such is life we're not going to be able to so um best and worst um oh i know what the best part of my day was should i go first yes okay don't copy me the I'm best part of my day was the sunrise this morning on the top of the mountain. Best part of my day was... The river crossings. You know, funny <laughs> what you said today that actually, that partly was? yes. You enjoyed that. Because we got a nice little kind of break right before the river crossings. And the very slim amount of breaks we got today well, was right before And that. we have another one tomorrow, so you get to Multiple. do it all over again. A very large amount of them are through the 100 Mile Wilderness. Actually, most of them are. I think tomorrow it comes up to like our thighs. Um, <gasps> oh, we have that. So do you have a worse? Too. Not exactly. No. Was, it, was your best river crossing? A bit, yeah. All right. Um, I definitely didn't have a worse today. 
we, I mean, 22 miles, it's nine o'clock and we need to go to bed. We're so tired. This is our last hostel stay. It is. It's sad. With that, we, we are going to call it there with a great breakfast waiting for us tomorrow. In the largest skillet ever made on the planet, from what I've heard. So. And we will see Good you night. on the next one. Lift the down. Bye. Now, I know I've said this a bazillion times, but Maine is so beautiful, guys.